In the event of a flat tire, first make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Turn the hazard lights on, turn the ignition off, and set the parking brake. There should be no one in the vehicle. Lock the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite the jacking position. For example, if the left rear tire is damaged, lock the right front tire. If your vehicle is equipped with air suspension, automatic leveling should be disabled in the Uconnect system by selecting Tire Jack Mode. You should also disable the hands-free lift gate before proceeding. The spare tire, scissor jack, and tire changing tools are in the rear cargo area under the load floor. Lift up on the load floor, remove the jack and tools, and then remove the fastener securing the spare tire by rotating it counterclockwise. Next, pull the spare tire up and out of the vehicle. Now go to the damaged tire and use the lug wrench to loosen, but do not remove the lug nuts. One turn counterclockwise with the wheel still on the ground. Triangular symbols on the sill molding indicate the front and rear jacking locations. To change a front tire, place the jack on the body flange just behind the front tire. To change one of the rear tires, place the jack in the slot on the rear tie-down bracket just forward of the rear tire. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. To raise the vehicle, turn the jack screw clockwise with the lug wrench. Raise it until the tire just clears the surface with enough clearance to install the spare. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay. Now go ahead and remove the lug nuts and wheel. Set the spare on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. Damage can occur if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug nuts and tighten them clockwise. Now, turn the jack handle counterclockwise to lower the vehicle and remove the jack. Next, tighten the lug nuts. Tighten each one twice in alternating fashion. Apply maximum effort for this final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. To secure the damaged tire, position the wheel in the cargo area where the spare tire was stored. Install the fastener and tighten it by turning it clockwise. Now just secure the jack and tools in their proper location and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.